Hey, it's Ninja Boy. Welcome back once again to Stardew Valley. Let's check the weather. Be clear and sunny. Perfect. Oh, it's the flower dance tomorrow. So, of course, it's going to be sunny. Uh, tomorrow we're getting... If you can find a partner, I will not have a partner yet because the partners, you have to, like, court them and they have to be your person that you're, like, trying to get... So, I won't have anyone to go to the flower festival with. I think you actually just talk to them while you're there. Which, you know, it's not really that big of a big of a, a deal. Oh, I got me a red mushroom that can be used in something. Not the artisan. I keep thinking it's the artisan bundle. Exotic exotic food bundle. That is where it can be used. Sell the mushrooms I have. Go and look for things. Ew. Nine. Nine dig spots. Okay. So I think that's how many it gives me per day is nine dig spots. Um, I'm okay with that. I mean, nine is a decent number. It's not too many. It's not too few. So I will accept nine as a good number. Again, I kind of have a feeling it's counting the couple areas I can't actually get to. So I probably won't find nine of them. I'll only find a couple of them, which is kind of sad because I would really like to find um, more of them because artifacts are a pain to come by. So the more I could find in a day, the better. But uh, I will be able to get to those couple places eventually. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. Yeah, as I said, I probably won't find too many of them. Got to be some crayfish it's kind of weird because you uh, click above the uh, above the thing that I'm thinking of what do you want go away you're kind of kind of mean yeah Shane until he like warms up to you he's He's pretty, pretty terrible of a person. There's a dig spot. Ornamental fan. There's another dig spot. Some clay. Bubbly, bubbly. Don't really feel like fishing right now. I might go, um, I want, actually, I want to do my farming first to get that out of the way. Another dig spot. Got a lost book. I have, I have yet to find all the lost books. Which, I mean, isn't like that big of a deal. I don't think there's achievement or anything for finding all the lost books, but... I've never found all of them. Yeah, like I was mentioning, I wonder if dig spots can appear up there. That would be annoying if they could, but I don't know for sure. Ooh, another flower that I can give to Haley. There we go. And wandering about. Just checking everywhere. Yeah, as you can see, the berries are gone now. So berry season is over. It only lasts for... It really doesn't last that long, honestly. It would be it would be nice if it lasted longer, but it doesn't. There was a dig site. I saw it. Clay. Clay, I don't think there's any use for clay beyond making a silo. 
which I mean is nice. I'm getting some clay because I can make another silo eventually, but I don't think there's any real point in getting clay besides making the silo. Okay, let's check up here. I don't see anything. That tree does hide some stuff. Can hide some stuff. Anything down here? Nope. Another dig spot. Just some stone. That's fine. Okay. Do, 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 and do. I don't... I think the, um... Giving them better items, they like them more, but I'm not 100% positive. So I need... Let's see, that would put it at 29. I can't do that. Because before, it would put... Put it at 28, so I can't get potatoes. I have to get parsnips. Because potatoes are six days. One, two, three, four. And 30. Let's talk to you. I did not get boost. Good enough. Maybe they have to be in like a specific radius. I'm not really sure. But let's come in here. Donate. Ornamental fan. Go and visit the community center. Turn in my red mushroom. And then go and do my farming. So I think it's this one. There we go. Yeah, I think farming. Well, I know farming. Farming is going to be my my next thing. And maybe going down into the mine to get lower. Okay. Parsnip it up. My last round of planting for the season. Anything that grows, I'm not going to bother uh, regrowing stuff. Because tomorrow the shops will be closed. And that would be the very last day I could plant uh, parsnips to have them grown in time for the season. So, yeah. If I remembered to go to the store yesterday, uh, I could have gotten potatoes and had them grown by the end of the season, but that was not the case. So, oh well. I mean, could be worse. But there we go, do that. I have quite a bit of energy left, let me grab stuff out of here. Grab my bomb and my cakes. And I don't think I have anything else. So. Time to go mining. I'm getting save. As I said, I'm getting save my bomb until I get like a huge area of rocks, which is actually uh, going to be sooner than later because I'm at a spot in the mine where uh going to have big areas of just rocks and i'm getting down to the point i'm going to find lots of iron which i am very happy about and there's going to be soft dirt 
which unfortunately um the dirt are where some of the artifacts are hidden um i don't think well i don't even know which levels they're going to be on so it is something i'll have to figure out eventually where all the artifacts are i am not looking forward to that the artifact hunt I do want to get them all. I do want to find all the artifacts. But again, I'm I'm really not looking forward to the hunt of them because some of them you can only find in the mi uh, mines on different levels. And you have to dig in the dirt to find them. But I'm at the level. Also, skeletons are one of the monster quests I need to uh, do. But yeah, I'm at the level. I don't know what this place would be considered. The like frost cavern castle thing. But this is where skeletons are, and there's a lot of skeletons, actually. Skeletons are very prevalent in this area. Not hard to defeat. There's a much harder, well, not harder enemy. There's um, another, I will, I'll say this, there's another cave you can go into later on um, that has kind of a similar enemy to skeletons, but they're really hard to defeat because when you knock them down like that, they actually get back up. And so you have to defeat them in a special manner. Thing. Nope. So just take the ladder down. Uh, one thing I haven't shown off, and I have, I believe I have the blueprint for it, uh, crafting stairs, a staircase. It takes a hundred stone, but what it does is it essentially just makes a ladder. So if you're like really trying to go down the mine really quick and you don't care about finding gems or ore or anything of that nature, you can just throw down a staircase and get down a level without any issue. That's good in the other cave where you do want to get down to lower levels uh, quickly. Because uh, the lower down you get, the more ore that spawns. And the other cave has very, very uh, good ore. Rare ore. So you do want to go down that one really quick. And that one actually doesn't have a bottom to it. So it just goes forever. and lots of iron. I am okay with this. Yeah, as I said, the further down you go in a mine, the uh, more uh, resources you find of a per particular kind. So in the beginning, the further down you go, you find copper, and then it switches over to iron, and you find lots of iron. And then after a while, it switches to gold, and then you find lots of gold. And gold is pretty much the highest uh, ore you can find in this mine, cave, whatever you want to call it. Um, how many? Ten, one, two, three and eat a cake an entire chocolate cake all to myself i do like the fact it gives you like half of your energy lots of ore couple slimes that one's like gunning for me yeah and the further down the slimes that you fight get stronger and they take a lot more hits to uh, get rid of them. I 
need to figure out how many skeletons I need to defeat because I do get quite a few. There we go. Nothing up there. The backpack. There we go. And now to find a ladder right away. Okay. So one more. I do want to go to the Adventures Guild, but I mean, I have to wait till two o'clock. That's one of the downsides to having the mod on that I do that stops time in the mines or inside in general is uh, time does not move forward. I'm very tempted to adjust that to just have it like a really, really long time to switch every 10 minutes. Because I can do that too. I can adjust it so it takes a really long time to get to 10 minutes. Firewalker boots. New boots. Three defense, three immunity. So now <clears throat> I am at the next level. I'm at level 80. And as I said, I believe there's 140 levels to the mine. And this guy gives me Void Essence. The opposite of Solar Essence. But yeah, as you can see, one, two, three, four. Now the rocks take four hits instead of three. So I'm probably only going to go down uh, five more levels because it's going to take quite a long time to uh, break stone. Some of the rocks, like those ones, only take two hits, but most of them take four. Found another gold chunk. Think if I get one more, I can get the uh, blacksmith thing done. And in fact, I am at the gold level. So I don't have a ton of iron right now. But I do have or I am getting gold so I can do the blacksmith blacksmith thing really easily now so that is good now red slimes which take for freaking ever to kill with my sword and they do a bit of damage not like a whole lot of damage but a bit of damage now you get little iron head guys which you hit them it kind of sounds like you're not doing much to them but you are okay <laughs> let's mine I'm actually going to use my bomb and there we go ladder so I don't have my bomb anymore, but I got down pretty quick. I don't have any more cakes to eat. I am finding gold. I don't know if you find, I think you, well, I know you do find iron. You can find iron, um, but gold is very common at these lower levels. So, yeah, unlike iron, which took a couple layers to go down before I actually found it, gold, as you can tell, is pretty instant. So, I will go down this last level. Oh, I hate these guys. They fire things at you. That one, 
Um, I think just blinds you, makes it so you can you miss sometimes, something like that. But uh, they can also shoot a fireball at you. And then you have these rock guys, which take forever to defeat. Um, what is the fastest way? Trying to figure out the fastest, easiest way to uh, get over here. So, no, no ore in this one. But that's okay. There we go. Got another crab. I think the uh, little bug guys that hide in the rocks can drop those. Well, uh, let's do one more level. Didn't find any ore there, so might as well go down one more level to get some ore. And just look around. I'm not going to go down any further. I just want ore. That's all I want. Which is nice because now I have the ability to get a gold item. Which I might do. I might save mining for a little while and just get my pickaxe up. Because I need my axe. I need my pickaxe. Both of those I need to... Uh, get up to a good, decent level. But mine down a little bit. Things are going to get harder. I just need to wait for the Adventures Guild to open. So let's throw the crab, that, solar essence, bat wing, that, 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 frozen tear. Throw the gold and that, so get those going. Seed stone, that, that, and that. Actually, I'll keep my frozen geode on me. I'll throw the those three things in the furnaces after my gold. Gold is going to take quite a while to do, but I should have some uh, done by the time the Adventures Guild opens. I'll grab some and then go back to the community center to uh, turn that in the blacksmith thing just all together. Um, go exotic. Do that. So I've gotten the easy things. Now the slightly harder things. Two of those things I can't get yet. Two of those there's no way for me to get at the current moment. Now there are other things I can get. But uh, those two I can't get. Crafting... Preserve Woodstone Coal. That is easy. Let's build a couple of those. Woods, not hardwood. Coal. Get those out. Get those in. Get the stone out. And then one, two, three. Four. Four for now. Yeah, four for now. Um, I guess I'll put them outside. I, I hate putting things outside. I like putting things inside. But I think for now, I will just... Can't put them up there. Um, where do I want to put them? I want to put them 
out of the way because I can put them here, but no. I guess I'll put them here for now. The reason I don't like putting things outside is uh, during, you have lightning storms every now and then. And during lightning storms, you can actually have your items hit by lightning and destroy them. Uh, machines like furnaces and stuff like that, preserve barrels, things like that. So I don't like storing these outside. Um, what do I want to do? Let's go and check how much the house was again. The house upgrade. She is not even here. Okay. Where is she? Store, maybe? Robin. Oh, yeah, it's Tuesday, so... She's at her, like, woman's group thing on Tuesday. Oh, well. I forgot about that. And now we wait. I guess I could do a little bit of fishing in the meantime. Not a whole lot, because I'm low on energy. But a little bit. bass I think yep a bass and what is this next one going to be nothing important just want things. I want things. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get my axe until after the uh, flower festival. Which I guess is fine. Um, probably be a short a short day tomorrow because of the flower festival. So, because it's one that, it's like the egg festival. Um, you go, there's not a whole lot for you to do. Um, has a cutscene, and then you go back home, and it's like super late in the evening. But that one, if I remember right, is off somewhere. So you can still enter the town during the flower festival, unlike the egg festival and some of the other things, where it's like, yeah. By the way, you can't actually uh, enter the town yet because it's not 9 a.m. and they're preparing and all of that. I think I got a fishing level. And that is the last cast I can do. So, make it good. Probably won't be. I mean, all the fishing does is give me a little bit of extra income. There we go. Eight. Cannot fish anymore. Because if I do, I will go into super exhaustion. And that is no fun, because then I will start tomorrow with... You know what? It doesn't really matter. Eh, actually, I don't want to because I still have to water all my crops and everything. Probably doesn't matter too much, but I really don't want the like super slow walking speed. So, yeah, I'll just I'll just wait. It's almost two o'clock anyway, so Ventures Guild will open. I can look at my things I still need to do. Fifteen already going up. Okay, sell the boots. 
I want ooh, the bone sword. 6,000 for it, though. I'm doing okay with the sword I have, so I don't want to do that right now. But let's see. Bats, still a lot. Skeletons are actually fairly easy to do, so I'll probably try the skeletons, and then the death sprites take forever. So, void sprites, um, again, kind of low, so probably work on skeletons next. Because that one's not really hard to do at all. So let's just go back home, throw stuff in my box, and then uh, it'll be the next day because I have nothing else to do. So let's just come over here. Box, 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 box. I did say, wow, those do take for freaking ever to produce gold. I'll, I'll wait around a little bit longer to see if I can get the gold produced. I do have a plan for furnaces in the future to uh, get them a little bit quicker. I do have a plan for furnaces in the future. Fire quartz. That's all I need. And then if I didn't sell off that one fire quartz. Granted, I'm at the place where you can get fire quartz. So I can get that one pretty quick. And that gives me the mine carts. Which not a bad thing. Those are fairly useful. I don't use them all the time, but they are useful, and I do use them quite a bit. So, all I need is gold. Uh, I'll just do it tomorrow. Anyway, I will end it here for the night. Mining geologist is what I'll do, and then fighter. There we go. Lots of money. And day 24. So I'm going to end it here for now. This has been Ninja Boy, and I will be back later with more Stardew Valley next time. See you guys then.